Hey, Cal Jacks team. So the big moment we've all been waiting for is, is coming up here pretty soon. Our teacher exchange visits are going to be starting here uh, relatively quickly. Um, and a while ago, we had that face-to-face -face day where uh, you were, we were all together and we were kind of learning about that facilitation process that, that you're going to be such an important part of. And one of the feelings that we had as we were going is that we really wanted to be able to see that in action. So what we've done is we've cre we're creating some videos that kind of show that that process of the facilitation. Now remember, there's going to be three parts to to the, those visits. You're going to have the pre-observation, the observation, and the debriefing, and that's going to take about half a day, with more or less about an, an hour for for each. But what we want to do here is is we we went over to um, Nate Moore's classroom over at Columbia Middle School, and he let us come in and and do kind of like a, a test run. And what we want to do here is break this up into some different parts, and we want you to see the process in action. Now, one thing that I want you to remember is that this is just an example. A lot of times, this is a very abbreviated example. Um, you're going to have a lot more time. But also it's important to remember that this isn't meant to be a script. Um, you're going to have a lot of freedom to, to kind of ask the questions that you need to ask and do the things that you think are, are most important. But we wanted you to get a chance to kind of see this in action. So enjoy. So for this first video, we want to show you the process of the, the first part of the teacher exchange, which is the pre-observation. Now, remember that most likely what will have happened is before you've even gotten to this point, you'll have uh, contacted the host, you'll know a little bit about the lesson that they're going to be teaching, you'll have been in contact with the administrator, you'll know kind of some of the logistics of, uh, of the building and the classroom and, and things like that. But this is really important because you're going to have about 45 minutes to an hour or so, and this is where you set the tone. Remember, a lot of times uh, this will be the first time that you've ever met these teachers, and in many cases this might be the first time these teachers have met each other. So what we're hoping you'll do here in the pre-observation is really set the tone and let them know about what those expectations are so that the observation and the debriefing will be will be effective. So let's just kind of go through this. Um, and, and remember, this is just... Uh, it's not a script, so do what you think is best. But what you want to do is introduce yourself, give a chance for everybody else to, to introduce themselves as well, and then kind of remind them of what the focus of this observation is. This is meant for them to get a chance to kind of see technology integration in, uh, in action. It's not meant to be, a, this isn't a perfect classroom, uh, but this is just a host that was brave enough to invite people in. And also, you need to set that, that focus of the, the observation is that this is for them to get ideas that they could use for their own classroom. And a lot of times, you're not gonna, they shouldn't expect a cookie cutter example, meaning they could take exactly what was being done in this classroom and do it the exact same way in their, in their own classroom. They may have to, to kind of figure out or glean some things and, and modify them and, and tweak them and, and just let them know that, that that's okay. Also, we need to let them know that this isn't meant to be evaluative. Um, it's not meant to, to kind of nitpick or other things like that. This is, is for them to get ideas and, and network. Uh, you'll need to give some background on the classroom, like what to expect with, with students and also what the lesson will be about. You'll give them a chance to, to talk a little bit about what they've done in the past in their own classroom, do some self-reflection, and also share some of their, their ideas and what they'd like to get out of this. You'll, it'll be really important that you go over uh, some observation guidelines and expectations, you know, little things like be sure to turn off your, your cell phone. Um, you'll have talked to the hosting teacher and they'll let you know whether it's okay to interact with the students or just those, those guidelines and reminders of, of what those observing teachers need to follow. It'll be important for you to go over the note taking format. These notes are only for them. They're not getting graded or anything like that. We just want them to know how to kind of go through that so that they can get some ideas for the debriefing at the very end and be able to put all of those together. Then you'll give them some time to, to ask questions and then a few minutes to kind of wrap things up, check email, 
go to the bathroom, all that, all that fun stuff. Um, and then you'll be going into the the observation. So for this one, uh, Jennifer Fox is leading the facilitation for a, a group of, of facilitators uh, who are going to observe Nate Moore's classroom in Columbia Middle School. So my name is Jennifer Fox. I work for Jackson County ISD, and I'm a school improvement data consultant there. And I have taught um, K-12 plus post secondary all in ELA. I've also taught um, math and science at the middle level. So back in the day when certifications didn't matter as much, you know, before highly qualified, we did a little bit of everything. So I did science dissections and math. It was great fun. So, and a lot of uh, a slew of um, ELA electives. But we're here today at Columbia Middle School to see Nate Moore. And um, I volunteered to do this, to do the facilitation, because I've done a ton of one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I've never worked in a teacher-to-teacher uh, -teacher exchange program where there's four or five, possibly six, teachers in a group. So I'm really excited, and again, this is new. Good morning, Sam. Have a happy Tuesday. And I have taught in K-12 and post-secondary. Hi, come on in, come on in. Hi, Christy. Hi, Christy. Come on in. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Everybody, this is Christy. And Christy O'Neill, she is the principal Hi. here at nice Columbia Middle School. Thanks. I think we'll start today's meeting if we could just go around the table and if you could give your name and um, where you're from and then what you teach in your rooms and, and maybe even what you're hoping to get out of today's observation of me. Let's start. <laughs> I'm Andrea McKay. I teach at Jackson High School. Okay, excellent. Wonderful. Well, thank you guys all for participating in this opportunity. I hope that by the end of the day when we have our post-observation conversation that we all get to walk away with, that we've taken some nuggets and we, we get to walk away with something at the end. So I want to talk about, um, we're going to go ahead and go into Nate's classroom and we're going to observe, this is his first hour reading class and he has approximately 28 students in there. He does have one student um, named Patricia and Patricia has an aide. And Nate has indicated, um, I've had some conversations, you know, preparing for this visit and getting ready to bring, bring observers into his room. And Excuse the interruption. There is a bus that just pulled in. So please hold off on your attendance briefly. Okay. So um, and Nate has a student named Patricia who has an aide with her, but Nate also indicated that Patricia will be very vocal, and so she might attempt to talk to you, and, and he said that's fine um, you know, for interaction and everything. So um, Nate is going to be doing a vocabulary acquisition with technology lesson today. So that's his goal, is students trying to measure um, how students acquire vocabulary using, and, and I'm not sure what program even that he's using, um, but we'll observe and see what, what how his lesson shapes and, and some different things. Now, while we're in the room itself, um, Nate has indicated that he's fine with us walking around and interacting with the students. Probably at the beginning, we'll go in and, and Nate will be doing some whole group instruction. And then, um, so we'll just go quietly to the back of the room. We want to be the least obtrusive environment as possible so we don't disrupt his, his teaching that we're there to observe. But then once the students move into independent work, he said we're more than welcome to walk around and interact with the students if we had questions about what they've done or what, you know, what it looks like, things like that. While we're in the room, we have um, a, the CalJAC's teacher exchange observation notes that I am handed to each one of you when we came in. And this would be um, what we're looking for as we go in. Um, today is the 7th, and Nate Moore, or Nathan Moore, is our um, host teacher. And we are at Columbia School District. And our look for today is vocabulary acquisition with technology. So that's just kind of the top um, piece, you know, there. And then these are just your own observation notes. We're looking at, when we go in, what are the roles that the students are playing? What are the roles that the teachers playing within the classroom? And we're looking at these four kind of components. What instruction is he using with technology? Is he utilizing a particular program for whole group? Is he using a particular program um, for small group? Is he using internet? Well, how is he you know, really integrating technology within his classroom? How are the students working with technology in the classroom? And what key components do we see that his students might be more or less prepared for assessment with technology within the classroom in the hour that we're gonna go in and observe his classroom? And then the last one is, 
go anything that you notice that you want to take notes on. Like, like if you see, um, I noticed that, you know, Shelly, a student in the corner, was using a particular iPad and she was off doing a reading assignment while the rest were doing vocab. And you kind of want to know why was that or what was he, you know, what was the goal of that. Um, so then anything that you notice could be highlighted there. So on the back side of the note sheet, <clears throat> you'll see two different columns. What did you notice and what did you wonder during the observation? And again, there's no right or wrong on these. These are not complete sentences. This is, we might collect these for our sample to go ahead and put some of these online so other people who participate in the teacher facilitator exchange can kind of see. But these are really nothing more than for your um, note taking to, to make sure when we come to the post observation conference that you haven't missed anything that you'll want to ask Nate, like, hey, what about, you know, or how did you or why did you? Um, so that's kind of the observation notes that we'll utilize. The next handout that I gave you, we aren't going to deal with that one right now. This one is um, the individual reflections and planning sheet. And this one we're going to spend some time on when we come out of the classroom. I just wanted to give it to you ahead of time so you could kind of think about um, how, what are we looking for here. So, so pre-observation reflections, mm -hmm. taking a look at those three questions that are on the top there. What are the, some of the successes that you've had in your classroom um, that might be highlighted by the focus of this exchange? We're all in different content areas all over the board, um, but maybe you've tried to utilize, like, um, it's physics, right? Psychology. Psychology and physics, like really high level stuff. When you talk about vocabulary acquisition there, in that type of a, a course where it's really content specific vocabulary, what, even though we're in a seventh grade classroom and in a reading, what might you be able to borrow, beg, borrow, and you know, teachers, the greatest thing is to beg, borrow, and steal ideas. So, um, and so that's kind of the focus of the post observation. And again, we're not going to take the time, I think, right now because we want to get in there and watch um, what's going on. But, but these would be some of the pre-observations. We would normally do these, we would take the time in this first meeting to do these first three pre-observations so that you would set kind of what's my learning, individual learning goal? Well, we, and I had you do that orally, um, on the bottom would be like, well, I want to learn new things. I want to look for opportunities to collaborate on some different pieces, you know, make connections. And um, what are some challenges, you know, I might think about using tech to integrate vocab in my particular, whatever it might be. But we'll take the time after since we're we're just running, you know, and that I think you could wiggle that around in any teacher exchange facilitation that we did. So, um, what questions do you have before we um, move into Nate's room? How much technology is in the building? So, just a, a few um, housekeeping things before we go in. We're okay to leave our purses in here. Our, I'm going to leave my laptop and my purse in here, so that should be fine. We're going to be in there for about an hour. We'll go from about eight and maybe even watch the transition into his next hour. Um, again, we're watching this first hour reading course. I brought clipboards and notepads because you know how when you get in a classroom, um, they probably only have these chairs in the back um, and we won't have anything to write on, so you're more than welcome to utilize um, or take one of those uh, to help you. And then make sure that your phone is off. Okay, just double check and make sure so that we don't interrupt <coughs> this learning environment. And um, is there anything else that you can think of that you might?